Well guys, this is it. The first episode of our show is finally upon us. I feel so excited. I may not have experience hosting an elimination show, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make this work out. Hopefully I can succeed in doing this. Oh happy Kyle, you should really be renamed Silly Kyle. You know we're all gonna do great, and this show will do well. Me and my friends have been on an elimination show, so we will help you in any way we can. I will always be on your side happy Kyle. I hate to be rude and cut you and spring Valor's heartwarming conversation short. But why are we all in an elevator again? Furthermore, why in the world is it moving slower than molasses? Simple Nanuit, this is how we are going to introduce the contestants. All of the contestants are currently in their own part of the elevator, which is possible thanks to Philip's manner. The elevator compartments at the top can teleport to the bottom easy. So we are at the very bottom of an elevator with 31 different shafts? That's stupid. You have got to be freaking kidding me. Nanuit, how in the world is us being at the bottom of a 31 shaft elevator stupid? Think about it for a second. If Philip Mana technology malfunctions somehow, who is most likely gonna die? Us obviously, because we are at the bottom of the elevator. I really don't feel like dying today. Really though Nanuit, can't you just trust Philip's manner? I get that people can make mistakes, but I doubt he did. Well, I trust that Philip's manner did a good job making this elevator technology. I trust Philip's manner as well. Okay, okay. I will trust Philip's manner as well. Give me a break. This bitch empty, yeet. You gotta be freaking kidding me. I'm seriously the first one here. That joke would have totally killed if someone was here. My name is Paul Kerbsy. And because I am the only one here, I guess I'm gonna have to describe myself. Most people would describe me as a mean woman, but I'm not really a mean woman. I am trying to resurrect the best dead thing ever, which is Vine. I was a huge fan of Vine, because all their videos were so funny. But on December 16, 2016, Vine was shut down. I was so sad when it did, because a lot of my favorite jokes came from Vine. I was so devastated. Another fun fact about me is that I am more than just a Metro North station. I am also an Amtrak station. Amtrak is only the best nationwide train system ever. You guys will never understand the honor there is to being a member of Amtrak, it's amazing. Well, now it looks like I'm gonna have to wait for everyone else on the other side of this rooftop. Welcome to America. How can I help you on this fine day? My name is New Hamburg. As you probably can already tell, I'm American. My favorite thing to do is use guns. Guns are amazing things with so much history and use. Everyone should own a gun, because they are so much fun to use, and they can keep you safe. New Hamburg is actually well known around the elimination show world. He is a well-known gun salesman. His biggest clients are in the USA server, although he does get some revenue from other servers. Gun-based characters love New Hamburg, however Teterboro was an exception during the Metro North hating period among the PVL stations. However, after that blew over, he and Anderson Street are some of his best customers. However, not many people in NJT are aware of us, and those two keep quiet. However, I hope more people in the NJT service start to notice us, and realize we are part of the Elimination Show family. Considering a lot of us really like certain NJT characters, they really should. Aoshi, make it happen and acknowledge us for once. Um, is she gonna get out of the elevator or what? Give me a minute, I just want to finish my meditation session. My name is Beacon, and I am a member of Zen culture. But, and this a big but. Don't you dare call me an Autobahn Rapuff. Unlike her, I actually have a personality. She treats Zen as her whole life, I treat it as a good way of helping people stay calm, it was never meant to become as convoluted as it did. Okay, I honestly don't understand Beacon. Don't get me wrong, it don't hate her, and I can have a normal conversation with her just fine. But I still think she has something odd about her. Let's be honest. Beacon is an Autobahn ripoff, and she just doesn't want to admit it. 
no one wants to be a rip-off, so she just gives little discrepancies as excuses. Pretty ridiculous if you ask me. What the hell? Come on everyone. Let's party. Yeah baby. Let's dance. Uh huh. New Hamburg, did you seriously just shoot his boombox? It was for the sake of our sanities but he eps it for the sake of our sanities. My name is Breakneck Ridge, and I love to party. Alcohol, clubbing, neon, I got experience in it all. People need to relax and have some fun, instead of worrying their life away, or sitting on their ass and being on their phones and computers. Breakneck Ridge plays his music way too loud. It always interrupts my meditation and zen sessions, and it gets really annoying. Breakneck Ridge is stupid. I once came into his house in a goshed costume, he got scared and hit me in the head with a frying pan. It was so funny, I had a friend record it and post it on YouTube. Maybe he should stop drinking so much. You will better not fuck with me, or else you're all getting Haikawa. My name is Cold Spring. But don't worry about who I am. Worry about my little friend here. This is Haikawa, she is my best friend. We go everywhere together, I always make sure she is as sharp as possible. Which is quite hard by the way. Cold Spring scares the living shit out of me. She always carries that knife around, and she acts super cold around everyone. It's like that knife is her only friend. I can't wait for the episode where a few votes for her were to act all smart. I will legit laugh my ass off when someone does that. Come on my brothers and sisters. Let's get Donald Trump impeached. Hey, you do realize he has already been impeached right? What you mean is that you want him removed from office? Shut up New Hamburg. My name is Garrison. I am well known for being the leader of the Liberal Entities Association. I also take part in stations rights meetings and help spread Metro North as a good company all over the elimination world. Garrison and I actually get along quite well. We are part of a lot of the same organizations. Again, my liberal mindset should be proof that I am not an Autobahn ripoff. I guess you could say that me and Garrison are rivals. Only I'm obviously Mario because I'm superior and he is Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm telling you that my ideals will forever be better than his liberal bullshit. I love it how New Hamburg thinks he is so much better than me, all because he owns guns and worships America. Well he has another thing coming. Just watch his ass get eliminated before mine. Ah, uh, what in the world is she doing? Simple, I'm checking the elevator to see if it's rigged with anything. You never know when someone might do that. My name is Manitou, but I'm not giving you guys any more personal information than that. How am I supposed to know that you guys are not gonna turn this confessional over to the US government? Well, I may not like the government right now because it is run by Republicans, but Manitou takes her shit way too far. Not everyone is out to get her, and she needs to calm down. Now... I am a part of Zen culture, so I have seen some crazy shit in my time. But Manitou is a whole different level. While she is at it, I'm shocked she is not an anti-vaxxer, or a doomsday planner. Because her type of crazy would fit in right there. I have had the displeasure of being in Manitou's house. You know those scenes in detective movies with the pictures and strings? That is basically her bedroom. Did she seriously just increase her jump height by kicking off the elevator button? Beat that. My name is Peak Skill, and I am a master of physical skills. I do like playing sports, but my specialities are physical activities that are not sports. I'm really proud of my talents, because I think being talented is one of the best things you can be. Peak Skill is one of my best friends. She always is willing to have fun with me and she knows how to live her life to the fullest extent. I love people like PX Skill. It's too bad that PX Skill is as skilled as she is. Because if anything ever happened, it would be perfect for Fail Army. If you haven't seen Fail Army, go check it out. Order in the motherfucking court. Get ready, because I am ready to do this, and I'm taking all the prisoners. My name is Cortland, 
Don't forget the trek ET at the end, people forget to put it in my name all the time. I am the former star of the show, Welcome to Cortland. A TV kangaroo court show. That is, until my show got cancelled, thanks to the popularity of just using security wide field to deal with people, and forgetting about giving them trials. Now I can't run my show anymore because of that bastard. Courtland's TV show was the best thing ever back when it was on the air. It was a funny way of sending people to ADX Florence. I was so pissed when his show got cancelled, but I love to watch old episodes on streaming services. Okay, so Midfield was trying to come up with a password for his computer. He wrote down my popularity. The computer said error, not big enough. My name is Croton Harmon. Despite the fact that my name sounds like the name of some crazy law firm, I'm actually pretty chill and funny. Did I mention I am also an Amtrak station? My life is awesome. Croton Harmon and I are both members of the Amtrak Alliance. This is the alliance of the Metro North stations who are also Amtrak stations. The alliance I think will benefit all of us in the game. I personally find all of Croton Harmon's jokes to be lame. He seriously needs to come up with better material. Croton Harmon is a good guy, I don't get why more people don't like him. Same goes for the other Amtrak stations. They are not mean at all. Even if Poughkeepsie's pranks sometimes cross the line. Wow, I bet you guys are glad I'm here. Hopefully it was a lift in your spirits. My name is Asuning, and I'm happy to be here. I love NJT Elimination, and it's something that if it didn't exist, none of us would be here today. I'm telling you folks, that show was not something bad born on the New Jersey Turnpike. As someone who is actually a funny person, Ossining kinda annoys me. Her puns are honestly really stupid, and half of them don't even make any sense. Despite being close friends, me and Croton Harmon have very different opinions on Ossining. I personally find her to be charming, but he finds her annoying. I really don't get where he is coming from. Did you expect some sort of Real Housewives line out of me when I got out of the elevator? Sorry, not my style. My name is Scarborough, and considering the average person on this show, I am about as close to normal as you're gonna get. And yes, I will confess that I am gay. But I am not one of those gays. I'm not a Britney fan. I don't walk around like a drag queen, none of the obvious gay things you can think of. So sorry, I ain't going to be your gay best friend ladies. Before you guys make any accusations against me, I have no problems with Scarborough being gay. I'm Republican, but I'm not one of those Republicans. It's the 21st century for fuck's sakes. Although Scarborough is reserved about being gay, I think he has a wild side. You know that fine where that guy screams I love suck and you know what at a Westboro Baptist church group. I could see Scarborough doing that. Also, god damn it happy Kyle. Just because I got here first, I have to film the most confessionals. I can't stay here in this confessional room all day you know. Hold on one sixtieth of a minute. The elevator didn't make a noise when the rest of us came up, so why did it make one for him? The power of Upsilon my friends, the power of Upsilon. My name is Philips Manor, and I am a technological engineer. That device which makes sound effects, which I call Upsilon, is one of my creations. I love what I make. Now my main question is, when is Milton gonna market anything I make? My stuff is amazing, it should be usable by the whole Illumination Show world. Also, if Milton does market my stuff, will he give me any damn credit, or just take it all himself? I would love to own a copy of Upsilon. It could be used for amazing jokes and humor purposes. Scott Stale, I know you're watching this. Sponsor Philips Manor right freaking now. Oh my god. Philips Manor is such a nerd. He will do good in mental challenges, but he will fail all physical challenges horrendously. Just wait and see. Philips Manor is really suspect in my opinion. I would ask him to help me make something to prevent the government from accessing my computer, but how do I know he won't hack it instead and give it viruses? Fuck. I am so fucking happy to see all of you. This show is going to be fun as shit. Let's do it together. I am happy as shit to get to talk to all of you amazing fucking people. 
My damn name is Tarot Town. I know I fucking swear like a sailor, but don't fucking worry. I'm nice as shit, and I will do any damn thing I can to help you viewers. Unless you're a five-year-old child who gets triggered by swearing like it's worse than malaria, then I don't get how anyone can hate Tarry Town. He is so nice to everyone, so hating him seems impossible unless you're the type of person I described earlier. If Tarry Town was ever on my show, I would sentence him to one million tubs of free ice cream because of how nice he is. You'll better be ready for a fight. Because I'm not gonna back down. I'm gonna be fucking honest, Irvington. That sounded like some shitty Real Housewives line. You're right. Shit. It's okay as shit, Irvington. You'll do better next time. As Tarry Town has already revealed, my name is Irvington, and I love Huntsville. He is the best contestant in the history of elimination shows. He was edgy, but not mean beyond belief. Everyone should be like Huntsville. Irvington is my fucking friend. He gives me good fucking advice on how to not be a shitty nice character. Because of him, I don't fucking judge edgy characters, and I'm honest as shit. Irvington has a lot of roughness in his soul. He really needs to experience Zen power. It will help him in his life. If anyone is gonna get eliminated because of VST, it's Irvington. He said he would do whatever he wanted on the voting screen like Huntsville. He even has a sign that says vote me off my furfickers. Oh Irvington. What's up bros? Yo gal here is just getting her lift on. Okay, we all should have seriously planned what we were gonna say when we got out of the elevator, because now this is just getting cheesy. My station name is Ardsley on Hudson. But because of name simplifications, my name is Ardsley. I can't wait to become all of your bros. I'm chill, and I got people's backs. That is just who I am. Artsley is really cool. She is a tomboy who is willing to have fun. She isn't the best at what I do, but she goes along anyway and has fun. She is great. Artsley also lives her life to the fullest extent. So she is also my friend. I think she is really upbeat and knows how to be positive. To the man who called Baby Hotline, you added an E at the end instead of a Y. So now you got me. Oh my god. I love the Tanimation meme. My name is Dobbs Fairy, and I am fabulous. Anyone who says otherwise is in denial, Scarborough especially. You just can't get enough of me, and for a very good reason. My brother Dobbs Fairy is so freaking adorable. However, he always seems oddly sad and or annoyed at times. I wish I understood why he felt this way, so that way I could help him. Okay, I refuse to be put in the same book as Dobbs Fairy. We are two completely different people. We just both happen to be gay. Not saying I hate Dobbs Ferry, I'm saying I hate getting compared to him. Me and Dobbs Ferry are in the same alliance, but neither of us are the leader. He is a great friend, and I think he is really... gay? You got to be freaking kidding me. No one got my fucking joke. You people realize gay has two meanings right? You all need a dictionary, bad. Bros. There was no chill music in the elevator. Totes ruins the vibe. My name is Hastings, and I'm chill. Although I think that this confessional thing that is only for this episode is as weird as the USA server shenanigans, it's alright. I guess. Me, Dobbs Ferry, and Hastings are all siblings. Me and Hastings both have on Hudson at the end of our official station names, which may be why we are so close. We love Dobbs Ferry as well. But he can be a bit standoffish sometimes. I don't hate my sisters, don't get me wrong. It's just that I don't know how to interact with them. We are nothing like each other, so I find interacting with them difficult. Not to mention they cause a lot of chaos. Although Hastings and Ardsley seem similar when you first meet them, after being with them for a while, you can see that they are pretty different. Hastings is more cynical and negative, while Ardsley is more upbeat and positive. Why in the world was I shocked? I should have expected this. Don't worry folks. Your Harley girl is right here. Can someone fucking tell me how the fuckity fuck she fit her damn motorcycle in the elevator? My name is Greystone, and I think I'm an overall cool person. I ride my motorcycle all over the place, and just relax. That's pretty much my thing. Like Dobbs Ferry, 
Greystone is in the same alliance that I am in. But she is not at the wheel of the group. Honest to God, I don't have a problem with Greystone, I like her motto. I don't understand why Peekskill does not feel the same about her. I wish Peekskill would stop disliking Greystone just because her motto is the opposite of hers. Yes, she is friends with my sisters, but still. Ah, the metaphorical agony of elevators. It's like life, you have those odd moments of pleasure, but you're at the bottom again before you know it. My name is Glenwood, and I am a member of emo culture. Unlike Vale, I don't worship Satan, and I don't burn down Hot Topic. I just believe in the power of agony, like normal people should. Fuck. I feel bad as shit for Glenwood. He loves fucking agony, but no one should have to go through lots of shitty pain, with the exception of Bella Vista and Essex Street. They both are fucking monsters. I could see Glenwood being an ally later in the game. I'm not giving a fucking explanation, I just think that it is possible. We shall wait and see. No no, Yonkers knows you want to hug Yonkers and take Yonkers home, but Yonkers is not for sale last time Yonkers checked. Go get your dose of cute somewhere else. Yonkers' name is Yonkers. Yonkers thinks that Amtrak is awesome, and that Yonkers' friends are funny. Yonkers thinks that Yonkers' charm will win Yonkers the whole show. Yonkers is the final member of the Amtrak Alliance, which consists of me, him, and Poughkeepsie. Considering how amazing Amtrak is, we should all make it far, right? Fine. I will do one more confessional. But only because it is about Yonkers. Anyways, Yonkers always refers to himself in the third person. Despite this, he is not a narcissistic person. It's just an odd personality quirk. Don't let Yonkers' cute exterior fool you. He can be just as witty, pessimistic, and even rude like the rest of the cast. I think our cast is a true neutral, compared to the mean USA server, and the nice NJT server. Don't fuck with me. I have the power of God and NJT on my side. First a motorcycle, and now a sword? What in the world could be next? The whole zoo. Meh. Guns are way better than swords anyway. My name is Ludlow, and I am the ultimate NJT super fan. I have followed the show from Acto's elimination all the way back in season 1, to the 10th season victory of Bound Brook. I think I can become a winner. I got the power of God on my side after all. Ludlow is another member of the Alliance which consists of me, Dodds Ferry and Asinian. However, once again, you have not met a leader yet. Hopefully you like our leader, because it increases the chances you will like us. Despite being a worshipper of God, Ludlow can act very crazy a lot of the time. She believes God will love her for who she is, and that she doesn't have to be an angel like Raritan. She is super odd. Man, I want to go back down now. Wait, why isn't the elevator going back down? Because that is not how Philip's mana technology works, you idiot. Someone get him out of the elevator before me and Haikawa have a fucking stroke. My name is Riverdale, and I have no idea what the fuck I am supposed to say in this room. I'm not a man of faith, so I never have attended church before. Confession is new to me. Here is your fun fact of the day, kids. Riverdale has no social skills. If you wanted to ask him how his day was going, he would probably say it or something. My lord. I'm really concerned that everyone is secretly against me, but Riverdale is the one person who I know isn't a government agent. He cannot do jack shit. Riverdale is so amazing, I don't get why more people don't like him. His smile. His eyes. His innocence. Oh my lord. People are so stupid. It's Jersey Avenue. Bitches. Oh hell no. Oh my god. I got all of you guys really good. My name is Speed and Ivel, and I am the man of many voices. I was just blessed with tons of different vocal cords, even female ones. I don't know where I got this gift, but it is an amazing one. Spite and Ivel is Yonkers' friend. Yonkers thinks that Spite and Ivel is the most witty and smart person ever. Yonkers hopes that Spite and Dival makes it to the final four with Yonkers and track friends. Spite and Dival is perfect for pranks. Just like the one he pulled during his entrance. Overall, I think he could be an ally under the right circumstances. Bad bitches, salute.
As the bad bitches of the show, it is a duty to get to the top in any way we can, and show all of these people who is boss. Now, according to... This shit is gonna take all fucking day. I so want to give her a taste of how Kawa right now. My name is Marble Hill, and I am the leader of the bad bitches. An alliance, which consists of me, Greystone, Dobbs Ferry, Ossining, and Ludlow. We are bomb.com.org.co.uk. Marble Hill is not only my leader, she is also my best friend. Unlike those silly and JT stations, we actually communicate outside of what is next to us. Don't be like Highbridge, it is bad for your health. I hate Marble Hill and her girly troop. They suck so hard, and they all deserve to get a taste of Haikawa. I'm so fucking triggered that there is no Wi Fi in this elevator. I was in the middle of writing my Cabotex Paris fanfiction. My name is University Heights. I am also known online as Don't Call Me College Station 128. If you can name a popular ship in Elimination Shows, I got a fanfic for it. Please, for your sake, do not read one of University Heights fanfics on a full stomach. You will lose your lunch, trust me. I have put up with some shitty people in my lifetime. But Miss Heights takes her shit to a whole new level. She has lockpicked my room, hacked my computer, and also spied on me. She needs to get a motherfucking life. Breakneck Ridge is a drunken asshole. He claims I have no life. He really needs to look in the mirror. He is gonna get himself killed doing stupid party shit. Hey, don't mind me. I'm just being your flyover man. My name is Morris Heights, and I can fly. Now. Let's make one thing clear, I am not an angel like Raritan. I just have an ability to fly around the place, and float. Morris Heights is the literal definition of a party foul. He is just so... boring. I can't think of one interesting thing about him as a person. He is the white bread of stations. According to the calculations of the amazing genius, Morris Heights is going to be the show's resident floater. He even has the most boring of the voices, the Joey voice. Lord have mercy on his soul. What can I say except, let's play ball. My official station name has a very large street name in it. But my name is Yankees. I am a person who loves sports, and I plan to do much better than Glendale did in his show. Let's play ball. Yankees is a very good friend, but sometimes we have a very friendly rivalry. We are experts in different fields, but we still want to see who is the best. Bro, Yankees is a legend. He has skills that I have never ever seen in my life. Someone give that man a medal, because he deserves one. Y'all better get yourself ready. Cause Chill Hood is in the house. My official station name has a street name in that name. But my name is Harlem. I be out here promoting chillness in hoods. Ever since that boy Anderson Street got on the scene, hood culture became violent f. Why can't you all chill the fuck out? Being the two multi-line stations that aren't the biggest station, me and Harlem are naturally friends. We get along really well, and he is very fair. Harlem is a really cool guy. We can often contemplate humanity together, and be witty. He also can rhyme like no one I have ever seen. We get it, we get it. I'm famous. Can we just treat me like a normal person now? My name is Grand Central, and I am a firm believer in Metro North being superior. I love my train company, and we are better than NJT, 100%. You got to be kidding me. After finding out we have another chance to make NJT elimination, my station gets destroyed. Again. Wait. There is one more thing we need to say before the end of the episode. Well guys, you have now been introduced to every single character. Now, you probably did not expect this, but you will be voting for something this episode. This voting is something that is exclusive to this elimination show. It's called, Hashtag Best Station. This vote takes place every single episode, 
even in this first episode where there is no elimination. Each episode, you will vote for the station you like the most at the moment. The station or stations with the most votes earn the title for that episode. Now, at first this voting may seem pointless. However, later this voting will give the person who wins the most of these something very big. However, I will not spoil what that is. Finally, this voting won't usually have support comments read. However, this first episode is an exception to this rule. So leave something else with the name of the contestant you want to win this award first. Thank you for your continued support. I will see you all in HUL1B.